No organization is responsible for the content of this video. All errors and omissions are the sole responsibility of myself, David Iverson. This video must not be your only source of information. Please attend official USSA educational opportunities. Please download official USSA educational materials. All right, so we're going to break this down into little bits and chunks, but I just want to start off. We're going to start off on the finish line and we're going to have a reflector type. So we're going to have two reflector types and then we're going to do a through beam type. Um, but I want to start off with reflector and I just want to show you what the installation should look like and then we'll break down the pieces of it. So the key thing about this is that we have four posts. So we have one post, two post on one side, and then we have one reflector on a post, another reflector on a post on the other side. So the idea is that we're trying to create uh, independent systems. And one of the things that happens when you're timing ski races is that the posts will get whacked out of alignment or they'll melt out or they'll somehow the posts will get um, unseated. And so now if you've got two sets of posts, so we've actually got, we got low going to low, and then we've got high going to high, and so that's going to give us two independent systems, our low system and our high system. And so if the po so if one post or if two posts well if one post gets out of alignment then uh it's not going to affect both systems. If you have two posts then if one post goes the whole thing goes. All right. And so then here if you look sorry it should all sort of match up all in a straight line. So I've basically got one finish line. I'm not offset left or right. I've basically got it all set up so everything is shooting down one specific line. And then if you look close up, I've got my meter is in the green. And if I put something in front of it, the meter drops into the black. So if somebody goes through there, boom, it's going to send a signal down that green wire into my timing system and that's going to be one set of eyes and then down here I have uh, the, an identical set going into my yellow pair of wires and that's also going to have a meter that goes like that. Alright, so there's our basic setup and then the other thing that I want to say while I've got it set up like this is that this distance here between the high and the low should be less than 20 centimeters. So if you've got it set up like this it should be less than 20 centimeters. I'm not actually going to measure that but I'm probably pretty good. Okay, so four posts, through beam, so four posts and here we have our eye and it shoots out to a reflector and then the light bounces back again and comes back in here. Okay, so now let's break down some of the pieces and parts of this. Okay, so we're looking here at, we've got a reflector and the mount that I have is sort of a chain mount and these are not really the best in the world, which is why they've been replaced. And um, so basically what I do is I've got a screw here that's kind of long, it's got a big knob on it, and then I've got a chain. And so what I want to do is I want to open that up as wide as I can, and then I want to hook as minimum amount of chain as I can on, and then I want to slide that over, but I've used not enough chain. So I want to slide it over, and then I want to tighten the knob. Well, I guess I got to tighten the other way. And I want to make sure it's good and tight.
Now the nice thing about reflectors is a, there's a nice thing about reflectors and there's a bad thing about reflectors. And I'll tell you both of them. The nice thing about reflectors is that they do not have to be really precisely aligned exactly towards your finish eye. Because these reflectors are going to basically, it, sort of any angle will do. You want it to be basically straight on, but you don't have to be super ultra precise. So all I have to do is I kind of just, I loosen this knob and then I can spin it however I want it. And then basically I just kind of rough it in, make sure it's roughly in the direction of my finish eye over on the other side. So the nice thing about reflectors is they are inexpensive and they don't really have to be precisely set up to just exactly go over in the exact precise way. Now the downside of our reflectors is that you lose some of the intensity of the beam when it reflects off. So the beam of so there's an invisible beam of light that comes in and it reflects off that surface and it bounces off. Now some of that light is lost. So the light that's coming off is going to be dimmer. Now also the other thing is because of a reflector, the light beam has to cross the finish line twice. So it's got to come in, it's got to bounce off, and it's got to go back. So since it's got to go twice as far, and since it's got to reflect off of a surface, then you are going to lose more and more intensity of the light, and that's going to mean that your finish eye has, that your finish line can really only be about 25 meters across, and if you're having heavy snow, uh, you could have more false finishes. So reflectors are really easy to use, but it means that your finish, eye, your finish line is going to have to be a little bit narrower, and if you have bad weather conditions such as fog or, or heavy snow, it's going to diminish that even further and you're going to get false finishes. So that's a reflector. Okay, so now I'm over on the other side and we have a finish eye and we have a different type of way to get onto the post. And this is basically got two thumb screws and so you've got a bracket. I didn't do the unscrewing part over on the chain thing, but you can figure it out. It's not all that hard. So I've got a bracket and the bracket slips over the post and then I tighten it up with, with thumb screws. So basically I screw this on like this. And then I slide it over my post. I got a little tightness in my there. Just slide it over the post. Slide it down to the appropriate height. And I tighten the thumb screws. Okay. So let's walk you through the parts of our uh, finish eye here. First off, you see on the front that there's going to be two lenses. So there's a bottom lens and there's a top lens. Now, I'm not sure which one's which, somebody would know. I should have figured this out long ago, but I don't really care. I think this is the transmitter. So in the setup that I have right now, this lens is transmitting light out to my reflector. And then the light is coming from the reflector back and is coming into the top lens. And so in the top lens, we have a detector. So light leaves the apparatus through that lens and then light re comes back in to the apparatus through that lens. And so it goes out, back, and if you put something in the way to block that signal, it says, oop, something just went in the way. So it says, uh, it gives you a signal to your finish timer. So your timer goes, oh, somebody just went through the finish. Okay. Battery. There's got to be a battery because you're producing light and you're sending that light out across 
uh, through space. So it's basically a little flashlight and flashlights have batteries and there's your battery. On the back we have an on off switch and we have various connectors and we have a meter. Okay and so those are the basic components. Oh and then also over here we have sort of a way to adjust it and then tighten it on. And so I'll get into that in just one second. Okay, so I have this thing flopped over and somewhere down the line I have my reflectors. So what I want to do is I want to take it and I always like to sort of pull this thing out and I want to sight down it like a gun. And so I sight down it like a gun until everything is really firmly in the green, until my little indicator on my thing is firmly in the green, or it stops beeping, tells me that I'm there. And so there, boom, I'm all set up. I'm firing that at my reflector. And so you can see, I am in the green, and so if you don't believe me, I put it in there, and you can see that it goes to black. Now it's in green. And you can see it is firing down at that reflector. All right, so in this video, if you can hear me well, I'm going to walk you through setting up a through beam. So in a through beam, well, in our reflector, when we were doing a reflector, we had a beam of light came from one side, hit a reflector, bounced back to the other side. So one light source and detector, and then just a reflector. On the through beam, what we're going to do is we're going to have a light source that's just going to go straight through to a detector. So these two are going to be our light source, and these two are going to be our detectors. Light source goes through once to detector. The advantage is that it is going to be, uh, you can have a wider finish area, and it's going to do better in heavy weather. Uh, the disadvantage is it's going to be more expensive and it's going to be a little bit harder to set up. Okay, so I already put in the posts, but the first thing to do would be to put in your posts, one, two, three, four, all on a straight line. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my detector side, and on my detector side, I want to put the inside one down low, I gotta get over this duct tape. So I'm gonna put my inside one down low, and I'm just going to roughly point it in the direction of where I think I'm gonna end up. And then I want my other one, my back one, I want that to shoot up over the top of it. So that one's going to go up higher. I can lower it down further than that. And again, I'm going to set it up. So that it's pointed roughly where I want it to go. I'm going to make sure that they're both turned on and that they're both in adjust mode. So I have to make sure that they're both in adjust mode. I'll remind you of that in a second. So now they're both lined up roughly where I'm going to put these. Now I go over to this side. This is where I'm going to be setting up my transmitter. So this is the transmit side. And so now I've got this one set up. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to point it at my lower one. And I'm going to point at my lower one until it's pretty solid in the green. Now I'm going to set up my top one. And I'm going to do the same thing. Turn it on, 
pointed at my upper one until I can get it as close to the, in the green as possible. So now what I know is that these are pointed in the right direction. So now I'm going to go over here and make sure that these are lined up perfectly. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to make sure that it's lined up and pointed right at the bottom one and solid in the green. I'm going to make sure that this one's point out right at the top one and solid in the green. And then I've got my cables. So then I'm going to hook my cables. Boom, boom. Different pair comes in here. And so that's what I'm going to show you here. And then there's a test that we need to do to make sure that we are completely set up exactly the way that we need to be. But right now, I have these two are shooting light over to here, and these meters are solid in the green. And then we'll test it. Okay, just a very quick thing. There's an, on the RX model, that's the receiver, transmit, and receive, there's a race and adjust. And if you're in adjust, it is doing like a reflector does, which is it is sending out a beam and then it is receiving a beam back. So the bottom lens is sending out a beam, the upper beam is receiving a lens, is receiving a beam. Okay, so now when that's going to waste batteries, and so when you're going to race, you flip it into race mode, and when you flip it into race mode, then it is no longer taking batteries to send a light beam out into space. So light beam on, and so now it is uh, transmitting and receiving into race mode. Now it's just receiving the light beam. Okay, so now we're going to test the through beam. And so I want you to watch the meter. And when I turn off this light, that meter should go to black. But of course, with through beams, it often doesn't. And the reason is, I just turned this off, but it's actually receiving light from this one. So it's actually receiving light from both. So what do I have to do? Well, what I need to do is I need to sort of push this one down a little bit, push this up, push that one down, push this one up a little bit. So now I'm going to readjust them and see if that if we can make it work a little bit better. Okay, so now hopefully I've got it adjusted correctly. So now when I turn on the bottom light source, just the bottom meter should go green and the top one should stay black. And then when I turn on, hang on, so right now they should both be black. And now turn on the bottom one and just the bottom should go green and the top should be black. And now I turn on just the top light source and the top meter should be green and the bottom should be black. So now I've got two independent light beams. Bang, bang, and I'm ready to go.